Have you ever thought it would be cool to spruce up your email signature block? Of course you have. Today we will be creating a signature block for your Gmail account and add a graphic. All this on today's episode of Mr. A's Techno Show. Welcome back. First you need to log into your Gmail account. Once the page loads, locate the settings cog at the far right side of your desktop. Left click on the cog and the settings menu will appear. Left click on the settings link. You are now in the settings menu inside the general tab of options. Scroll down using your mouse and look for the signature section. The first thing you notice about the signature section is that there are two radio buttons. One says no signature and the one below it has no writing but if you click on that button it will activate your signature block section. So this option allows you to display or not display a signature. So you may be asking, well what goes in a signature block Mr. A? The signature block is a time saver. Instead of always typing your name, email address, telephone number, and other information, the signature block will pop up at the end of your emails automatically. Create it once and you're done. Easy as that. So let's start with a basic signature block. Type your first name and your last name in the signature block now. Once you do so, go ahead and hit the Enter key. This is going to bring you down to the next line. From here, you can put in your home address, work address, phone number, email address, or website address. After your name is in the signature, you're free to add as little or as much contact information as you see fit. For younger students, I would stick with only to your name at this time. The toolbar above is a great place to customize your signature block. You can change the font, you can change the size, you can add italics and bold and underline. You can also change the text, the background and the text colors. You can add links to other sites, and you can also add a picture to your signature block, or use a numbered list or bullet points. Play with those options to create a truly unique signature block. So let's explore adding a graphic to your block. Find the Insert Image button toward the center of the toolbar above the signature block workspace. Let's go ahead and click on the Insert Image option now. The Add Image window appears giving you three options. The first is labeled My Drive. This is Google Drive and if you click on the option it will show you all the acceptable graphics files stored in your Google Drive. If you have a picture you wish to use stored in Google Drive all you have to do is left click on it and then click on the select button at the bottom. It will automatically insert it into your signature block. The second option is labeled Upload. If you click on this option, the computer will open up another window allowing you to drop a picture or select a picture from your computer to use. The third option is to use a graphic from a web address. You will need to copy the image's web address, also known as the URL, and paste it into the field provided. Let me show you how that's done. Let's go up to the top and create a new tab. Here we are in our Google search engine. Let's go over to Images. Now we're in Google Images. Now what we can do is type in the name of some sort of graphic we would like to use. Let's just go email. Perfect. All right, so now we have several email icon graphics. Let's just find one. 
Once we're happy with it, let's go ahead and view the image. And here, we're going to right click the image and we're going to copy the image's address. All right, now let's head back over to our settings. And here in our paste field, we're going to go ahead and right click your mouse and paste. Now if you have a good link and a good image, you're going to see the image pop up right under the search field. That means we're good to go on this. So let's go ahead and select it. Well, that uh, is pretty nice. It's a little bit large, but that's okay. If you click on it, we can make it small, make it medium, or enlarge it all the way to large. Of course, you can always use the original size. And of course, we can remove it all together if we don't like it. Now, once you're completely happy with the way that your signature block looks, scroll down to the very bottom of the page and you're going to see the Save Change button. Go ahead and click on the Save Change button now. You've finished your signature block. Excellent job! In closing, you have just created a signature block and learned how to insert a picture into it. Your email is now good to go. Thank you for tuning in today. Remember to like and subscribe. If you have a comment or have a show idea, please leave me a message below in the comment section. I'm Mr. A, and hope you have a tech-filled day.